you don't feel unwell very early in the disease, so it allows the virus to pass on to other people. If you get tested, get treated, you have a better chance of living. Doctors at Washington University in St. Louis have an urgent message for everyone in the region. Get tested for HIV immediately. That decision could mean the difference between life and death. That's the focus of this morning's Imagine a Better St. Louis report. I spoke with those trying to prevent people with HIV from progressing to the deadly AIDS. Stats of St. Louis are so bad, it's ridiculous. St. Louis leads the state of Missouri when it comes to the rate of doctors diagnosing people with HIV. Blacks are more than eight times as likely than whites to become affected by the infection. But when you compare black and white women, the HIV disparity is more drastic. I did the denial. I did this, the suicide attempts. We're calling her Hope. For 23 years, Hope has been living with HIV. Hope lives in North St. Louis, but she found out about her HIV status in 1993 when her four daughters were children and she lived in East St. Louis. You were married and you were having sex outside of your marriage and right. so was your husband. Right, we were both having sex outside of the marriage. You weren't using protection? No protection. So you were having sex with six men at the time, one of whom was your husband. The five guys who weren't your husband tested negative, mm -hmm. but your husband refused to get tested. Right. And he recently died. Right. She got tested and treated. That's perhaps the difference between her life and her husband's death. Kick the bucket. But I'm still here. According to the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services, in 2014, black women represented 12% of women in the state, yet 63% of women diagnosed with HIV were African-American women. Our younger generation has really got to get tested because for some reason they think they're invincible. It seems to be becoming progressively worse among young people. Yes, yes, and that is uh, mainly 13 to 30-year-old. Um, Dr. Rupa Patel at Washington University is disturbed about the rising rate of HIV among young people. In 2014, the largest number of new cases were among 19 to 24-year-olds compared to a decade ago when there were people in their 30s. Not knowing um, the HIV status and being undiagnosed allows um, the virus to pass on um, because you're not symptomatic. Medical doctors are urging everyone to ignore the fear of stigma and inquire about your status at hospitals and urgent care centers. That way, should you find out you're HIV positive, you can easily live long and stay strong. It's the not knowing that's going to kill you. There's not much to fear about HIV in terms of the disease as a death sentence. It really is one pill once a day. It's just one pill for HIV. This grandmother of nine pops one triumec pill per day. So the fact that you're 54 and have been living with HIV for 23 years mm -hmm. is proof positive that it's not a death sentence. It's not. I'm 54 years old and I know I look good. It's very important. And even if you don't have health insurance, there are places where you can get free HIV testing, and we have some resources on our website, camov.com. You know, it's one of but, those things that people you not mm -hmm. necessarily would think of are dealing with this disease. So many people walking around that you have no idea have this, and the thing is there's so many others who don't know their status, and that's the thing, get tested. Get tested. Get help. Yeah, very important story there, good mm -hmm. conversation to have. That's right.